Good day. Today, our session is about the purifier systems on board. In this video, I will throw you around our separator unit which is Alpha Laval and introduce you to the basic components of our purifier system. The onboard separation or purification system is designed to clean fuel and lube oil for diesel engines but not limited to fuel for gas turbines in marine and power application. The purifying system uh, starts with uh, heating the fuel into a desired set of temperatures to facilitate efficient separation process. Take note that different fuel grades and different kinds of oil will have different recommended set points for temperatures. Also, before doing anything, especially startup procedures, make sure that you're familiar with the machinery by reading the manual just to avoid any safety issues. So let's go and take notes and see you at the end of the session. These are the basic components of your purification system on board. The separator unit admits oil and separates water and sludge particles. This is the main component of your purification system. The control unit is where the stop and start sequence is carried out. This holds the emergency stop button on the main visual display for sequence of operations, alarms, and running parameters. The pressure gauges provide measurement for system pressures during running and standstill. The valve block water is the instrumentation control for opening, closing, and sealing water for the entire operation of the purification process. And the valve block air serves as an instrumentation control for the three-way valve delivery and recirculation, drain, and back pressure control. The three-way valve is a pneumatically operated valve which opens and closes for delivery and recirculation of oil. The water transducer unit provides signal and measures water content on all delivery during the purification process. Assuming that all lines are set up from settling going to the service tanks, you need to start the feed pump as first procedure. Next, open supply for water and air instrumentations. Push the separation button to start the sequence. Press the separator button. Wait until the required RPM and temperature set points are reached before the sequence is continued. Also, take note that different fuel grades will have different running temperatures to achieve proper separation. Once the required RPM is reached, the separator will be on standby. Check that all parameters are okay and press separation. The separation sequence will start until it reaches the delivery to the service tanks.
Once clean oil is in delivery, check the running parameters in normal values and the drain if there are leakages on the system. Lastly, as a marine engineer, it is required for you to check the start-up and stop procedures from the maker's manual. Check also the key parameters that you need to maintain when the purifier is running, especially the emergency switches available in the system. So this concludes our session for today. I hope that you learned something about the purifiers on board. If you have any questions, comment below and we'll see if we could answer that for you. And I hope to see you again next time. This has been John and this is Marine Engineering 101.